Yeah, we're just going to practice real quick, translating these sentences into inequalities. And the way we're going to do that is um, we just need to look at the words. So, for example, is more than. Your age is more than six years old. So we're comparing this to six. And since it's more than, that means that your age would be eaten by the inequality here. Now, it's not equal to either. We need to understand that. Otherwise, it may say something like at least six years old. Your speed is greater than or equal to 50 miles per hour. So your speed in comparison to 50 miles per hour, it's going to be greater than or equal to, this one was very direct, so that one wasn't too bad to do. Uh, let's look at Bob's earnings. He's at $10 per hour. Uh, but his earnings are no more than 50, 150 bucks. So this one, as it turns out, would have $10 per hour times the number of hours. And it's no more than 150 so we're comparing this to 150 uh, That means that it can't be bigger than 150 but it could be equal to. So it's no more than 150 meaning it could be equal to. And so we got the 10 dollars per hour times the number of hours has to be less than or equal to 150. Uh, number four we have a price P decreased by 5 is now less than 80 and that one again was pretty straightforward so that's it for that one